Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. Uh, coffee with Derby. Uh, time is winding down for me at work. And uh, I don't know if my boss is really taking everything seriously. Um, I still have not yet seen anybody come in to be trained. And I don't know whether he realizes that I told him that I would give him maybe maybe four weeks if, if, if he was able to find something where I could train him. But thus far, we're, we're riding down on one week and another week's coming. If he doesn't get somebody in there, I will be leaving because I'm giving him an opportunity to try to find somebody. So anyway, in saying all that, um, I... I, I'm getting a kick out of this, uh, the, the Bud shit, okay? I'm getting sick of seeing it, but at the same time, now the Miller, so you had Anheuser-Busch do something stupid and, and got flack for it. Lo and behold, another business, another corporation, another, you know, a uh, beer company, what did it, they, Miller, goes and does the same exact bullshit. I mean, if I'm a CEO of a corporation, I built the corporation around a CEO of a corporate that's been built to make money, right? To, 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 you know, why, if you already seen one of your competitors do something stupid as hell, why would you want to turn around and do the same thing? I just don't understand. Now, there's a lot of people out there who are making videos, you know, you guys who are making money off it and all this other stuff, you know, sometimes you guys are just going a little too far. You know, I, 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 I didn't care. I got tired of hearing about that now that the Miller thing came out. So you guys are going to prolong this thing so long. Here's the thing. When you guys continue we, over and over and over and over and over. See, I'm not going to get back on here and keep talking about this like the rest of the so-called creators do. Uh, I, I don't give a shit. All I'm saying is, is that I'm trying to make a point. I'm looking at our society go down the drain. I'm, I'm looking at logic. The, the logic said, I, I almost think that God made a mistake when he made us. I'm thinking, did he forget to put a fail-safe system in us? That when we get too stupid, that something, you know, that something uh, clicks and, and, and we get back on board with logic? Don't we have a logic system that could click or something? So I'm kind of wondering, like, I know God never made a mistake. I'm making a joke. But... It just seems like, you know, people don't click. They don't like, wait a minute. That, it, it, I'm going to see you going to, wouldn't that be a stupid thing to do? Well, let's do it anyway. What the hell? Why are you in your position? You don't want to make money or, or not make money. So now you got another beer company that's what? Uh, getting flack and probably people will buy their beer just so they can put holes in it from an AK-47 or something. So it, it's okay. Um, it, it just amazes me how... I just don't understand. I don't understand whatsoever. Uh, I do and I don't, you know. It, it's sort of like, you know, it, things are changing. And everything is, it, they, they, they're moving their, their thing. I, I don't know if, you, if I told you this. My, uh, my apartment complex has is, is given me a, a, has given us a notice that they want to, um, I've been paying, I started out when I first, moved here paying by money order. Then they had to change it to where they wanted, you know, to go through my credit card. Now they want to go directly through my bank. They want access to my bank account. I haven't talked with them yet and I'm kind of wondering, wait a minute, does that mean that, what does that mean? You're going to take it, see I have a, I have a birth between the first and the sixth to get my rent paid within each month, the beginning of each month. Any time after the 6th, then, you know, it's a late fee. But I want control over when I pay, whether I pay within the 1st or the 5th, okay? What they want to do, I think, if, I have, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I haven't talked with them yet at the office, but uh, they want to, you know, have control over just withdrawing it. Well, I have a problem with that. I, like I said... I want to be the one to push the button. I want to be the one to make the decision because it's my freaking money. It's the bank that I am in, you know, not they're they're not 
part of my back. So I'm kind of squeamish about this. But see, they're all doing this stuff. They, everything is being molded and crafted in a way to where you have no other choice. I mean, if I argue with them, well, we'll just kick your ass out and then you won't have to worry about it. So that's the next step with a lot of us people who want our anatomy. You know, we, we, we want control over our lives. The problem is, is that they want, there's more, more things going on here and more people and, and more corporations in that who want control over your life and your money, your finances. And um, it's, it's coming. The beast system is, is being totally unveiled. And most of the people in the world or in this country do not see it happening. It, it, they, 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 they camouflage it with easiness. How much easier does your life have to be? I mean, you, you, you sit down and we have these things. I don't have to get up and change the channel. Well, I don't can't change the channel now anyway. I don't have a del I don't have a channel changer. Up. I only have this. I'm screwed if the batteries die and I can't get no batteries, right? So you don't have to get up. That's why people sit on their couch and get fat eating all kinds of bullshit while they're watching Netflix, right? So because they're so lazy, they don't have to get up and, you know, how much how much easier does life need to be? It always reminds me the way they're doing, well, you want to do this, you don't have to do that. You can unlock your car just by looking at it, you know, or putting your hand across it and stuff. It's like you you, you, you could be a superhero. The door is open in my house. You know, it's all this technology in our bodies and stuff. Let me tell you something. You know, if everything is so easy, that means that most of you people who like easy stuff can't even have any gumption of challenging yourself. Anybody want to challenge themselves? Challenge yourself to be a little bit more intelligent. Stop letting them basically tell you how intelligent you should be. That's like, that's like what they're saying. When they didn't like us people who are on YouTube who are exposing them for their lies and stuff, they, they don't, don't research on your own. You don't know what you're looking for. Well, if I research and I get all the information, I'll find out. But see, they don't want you to find out anything. You just trust us. You listen to what we've done all the investigation. Yes, we, we on TV. Yeah, yeah. So you go and do this. And the problem is, is that you're not learning anything. So you take all the advancements. You got your you got your talking little monitors in your house, Alexa, you know, you ask it stupid questions and it gives you stupid answers. And then you then you go and, and you watch your, your TV. You got your internet, you know, you got all kinds of stuff, you know, you got your Netflix at home and you know, and, and all kinds of technology. I mean everywhere, you know. You, 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 <laughs> It's, it's unbelievable. But the thing of it is, everything's getting so easy. So we, you don't have to do it. It always reminds me of that movie um, uh, about the little robot when they're up in the ship and the earth had been destroyed and the little robot's cleaning up things for a thousand years. And, and all of a sudden, you know, he falls in love with that other robot. But the people on the ship, I always like that one part where they show when they got on the ship... The captain, the first captain was a thin man, you know, real good looking, you know, captain guy. Then as the pictures went down, they started getting fatter, bigger, fatter, bigger. Just like our world, the McDonald's world, fatter, bigger, fat. Now everybody's sitting in these chairs and the computers and all the AI and all and all, and all the robots are controlling. You know, today the, the, the specialty is a blue. A uh, milkshake uh, or a red milkshake the next day. The colors and they move around by sitting in these these chairs. You've seen the movie, um, but I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, that's what's happening. How 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 much easy? How m much more easy does your life have to be until it's no longer considered living? You're just a lump sitting on a couch. Everything's handed to you. Everything's given to you. But you, you don't offer anything back. That's what mankind is becoming. Mankind wants and wants and wants and craves and wants, but it never wants to give back.
And when it does give back, it's only for a purpose. You know, sort of like this thing, well, everybody should, should be exclusive, should be inclusive to everybody. That means that your children should be susceptible to sin. Your children should be susceptible to being perverted. Um, all kinds of things. Uh, it's like the devil, the devil thing. They like to put the devil in the, uh, the, 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 that the after-school devil program, right? Has anybody ever asked them, well, what if that child grows up and wants to pursue it and continues wanting to pursue it? And eventually does become a witch or a warlock or somebody evil and does eventually get devil spirits in them. Nobody's asked those questions to those idiots. I want to be in front of that guy with the weird eye. I want to ask him. I want to ask him these questions. I want to see if he can answer. More than likely he'll give me a bunch of bull, bull crap, you know. They, they have talking points. They, they, just, they, they don't want you to get off their talking points because they always try to go back to them. The thing of it is, it's, uh, it, it's getting bad. People are getting lazy. People are getting fat. People are getting ugly. Have you ever really looked at your normal, average human being in the street? They're not looking good anymore. Many of them look sickly. Too many times they're rolling up their sleeve. Many of them are very unhealthy. Poisons in the food. Breathing in, exercising, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, get, getting all these uh, uh, fake nutri nutrients and stuff, which they're putting chemicals and, and all kinds of weird stuff in that stuff too. So you people will think you're being healthy, working out and all. But see, nobody, the, there, there's very few people out there in society are wanting to do anything anymore. They, they want their pleasure. Pleasure. They, they want to feel, they want to feel good. They want to be well rested. You know? and, 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 and nobody accomplishes anything. It's like, and when you do accomplish anything, you get beaten down by society for it or by your government or, you know. It, it, it's, it's to a point why. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, how do you, how do you, how do you tell people that because it's easy, it's one of the worst things that can happen to you. When you allow yourself to be, this is no different. All these gadgets that they create, they make or whatever, is no different. It's sorcery, but it's no different than drugs. You, you remember when crack addicts were around, when crack was real prominent? Uh, I remember I was working at the Union Mission, going to Bible college. I remember the crack addicts real bad. They, these people, they were walking zombies back then too. But the thing of it was, was that, you know, they, 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 they were disconnected from, from, from the rest of the world. And they had to have it. Well, this is the way the world is right now. Everybody's disconnected because of all the gadgetry. And this stuff is, is what's making mankind lazy, making mankind ugly. Ma mankind is ugly because of this because of all the technology. Mankind is cold. Mankind is, 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 is no longer rugged. There, there's nothing uh, promoting, except for a few individuals. You still got rock climbers, you still got this, you still, very rare. But the thing of it is, there are most people, most people don't wanna feel comfortable. They don't wanna go outside their comfort zone. And a lot of times, even Christians, they, 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 they find it hard to go outside what they believe their concept of Christianity is. Even, their, even, even when they're worshiping so-called God that they worship, they, they say, their lives are still the same. There's no changes, and they're comfortable that way. And then when you try to talk with them about, well, what has God done in your life? You know, how do they explain it? If nothing's ever changed, well, God's always there. How do you know? Is anything changing in your life? Has anything gotten any better? Have you had any any problems that God has worked, that you prayed to God to work through? And most people, well, things are okay, I'm, you know, because there's no challenge. They've already been duped. They've already been so manipulated and 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 and, and molded to think that if they are Christians, don't worry about it. Even Christianity has gotten too easy. Because everybody's comfortable. They go into church every week and they've got that certain spot on the 
bench, you know. They got it worn in. But they don't change. They don't better themselves. They don't see the truth. They don't work on letting the spirit rise in because they don't know any different. They are no different today than they were the day they got born again. And there's many out there. So the problem is, is that nobody's challenging their, their unchanged, and especially in the church. you got to challenge yourself. You've got to attempt to try to break free from all the niceties, from all the the easiness. Sometimes you've got to walk that walk. That's what the analogy of being in the desert. You have to break free from the world and its ways. You've got to have that time, that one-on-one time with God, with yourself, with the Spirit within you. You can't let the world constantly uh, 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 obliterate you. And many people do. They wake up with the world. They go to sleep with the world. They wake up again with the world. And the world is their oyster. And the world is all they know. And the world is the only thing that they operate in. And what's operating is the, uh, is the world operating on them on a day-to-day basis. Changing little by little what it means to be a human being. Changing what it means for Christians to, to obey God, to, to, to trust and depend on God. No. Now, you got to be like those little, those people in that, on that movie, that cartoon movie, that you got to sit down in that chair and you got to take all the milkshakes and different colors and everything that they want and listen to Alexa and talk to Alexa and have a good old time doing nothing as you're getting fat looking ugly and being empty-headed or filled with Twinkies and accomplishing not a damn thing and then you die. There's your life. Was it worth it? All that pleasure, what did it get you? Got you fat? Got you ugly? On the inside and the out? Made you cold? You're a Christian. You ain't no different than the monkey in the in the world. The human monkey ain't no different. You went to church and you still never changed. You got fat. You got ugly. You you, you let the world take you over. You you were controlled by Alexa. You probably got one at home, right? How many of you Christians? I've asked it before. How many of you Christians have HBO? How many of you Christians have cable TV? You spend all that money on cable TV. How many of you Christians watch Netflix? Come on now. Come on. Let's be honest. How many? How many of you out there, uh, out there, you know, like things easy? How many gadgets do you own? Do you, how many of you Christians wear that shit in your ears? You get radiated. Keep, keep your cell phones on in your pants. Won't be able to have children. Low sperm counts. Women like to... I've seen women put the phones on her, you know, in their chest, you know, and... Bad milk for the baby. Yeah, we, we have such an easy life. The things that, that, that are given to us. All the poisons, the gadgets, and all this other stuff. And yet, y'all crave it. Y'all want it. They put it out. You'll stand in line waiting for the new phone. You'll, you'll stand in line like the, like, like, like the little uh, uh, Swifty people, right? The little girl. They'll stand in line all night until the doors open at a store so they can buy their favorite memorabilia of Taylor Swift. That's life. That's who they worship. And nobody pulls them up. Most of them probably little Christian girls too. Nobody pulls them up. Nobody tells them it's wrong. Nobody tries to help change their direction. And the church, well, the church has failed mankind all the way. The church has failed Christians. The church has failed God. The church has failed itself. A lot, of, a lot of churches have a lot of bodies in it, but not very many spirit-filled. So this is your world. Do you, do you, how, how easy do you need to have your world? How, how easy should it be? Until you no longer are in control. You got all the gadgets around you. 
and they control you. There you go. You lost yourself. You lost your humanity. You lost the spirit within you. And you're lost. And the world in which you live in, when you've got billions of people the same, what do you have? You have a loss. God has a loss. All these people are people whose souls have been stolen. So he's lost souls. Because they wanted the easy life. Because they, they traded their soul for an Alexa. They traded their soul for one of these, you know. They, they traded. You know, if I could get another television with a dialing, I wouldn't mind getting it. I don't have a problem with getting back up and down. Yes, this makes it easy, don't get me wrong. But I don't, I don't care. If my battery dies until I get a battery, I'm not going to worry about what's on or what's off or I can't turn it on. Or, I don't give a shit. But see, most people out there, they get up in the middle of the night, drive down to the store to get a battery so they can control their television. That's pretty sad. That's for the convenience. So you went out of your convenience to get up in the middle of the night, get dressed, go get the go 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 to a store, and then come back for the convenience. That's logical, huh? Something to think about, people. How do you how do you go and conduct your day? Do you like things to be easy? Would you be willing to go out of your way maybe once? Maybe maybe just get a little exercise. Maybe, maybe to, you know, maybe for the first time, you're a little fat. Instead of sitting there and playing a video game in the morning, why, why not go out and take a walk around the block? But no, most people will continue in their easiness. And they'll keep crafting ways and making your life worthless. Because that's basically what happens. Right now, young people aren't being taught to have any type of values or any type of, uh, of it, uh, uh, ability to want to learn something. They don't want to learn. They want it given to them. And that was crafted by the idiots on the top. And, and as time goes on, the idiots below them just continue doing the things the idiots above them had told them to do. So... There you go. There's your world. There's what's going on. And um, you got to figure out how much of the world that you control or how much of the world controls you. And you might be surprised what you find. You might be embarrassed what you find if you really look at yourself and look at, the, look at, look at, look at your house around you. Look at the things around you. If you have a family, look at, look at where your family spends their time. You know, it's been said there's a lot of families out there who don't sit together anymore at, at dinner. They have all different types of times. They don't keep a time where everybody gets together. Do you know, I've heard, and I'm pretty sure I've known this, is that there are many families who don't even know each other. Brothers and sisters who don't talk. Husbands and wives who basically treat the family as if it's a business and everybody I see it at work you have families come in and nobody's talking but everybody's on this that's weird when you got people sitting together but nobody's talking nobody no, nobody's conversing they're on that so it's it's a matter of taking back your life and being willing to challenge yourself. Stop allowing them to mold you into a lazy piece of shit. Derby Jack out. See you all on the other side.